the previous rules were all unambiguous, it does not matter what the conditions etc. are and now I am going to write down a little bit more complicated rules. So, this is 8 E 1 when it is joined on a condition theta 1 with E 2 which is then joined on a condition theta 2 and theta 3 with E 3. So, note that these are not natural joints any further this is equivalent to E 1, this is joined with theta 1 and theta 3, which is then joined with E 2 on theta 2 and E 3. So, couple of things needs to be there is that theta 2 must involve attribute from only E 2 and E 3. So, theta 2 is only between E 2 and E 3. Theta 2 is involves attributes only from E 2 and E 3. So, it does not contain any attribute from E 1, it cannot contain any attribute from E 1. This is the condition that must be then. If that is a thing, then theta 2 can be separated and theta 2 can be applied first between E 2 and uh, E 3 and then it can be joined with E 1. So, that is the idea because theta 2 does not bother itself about uh, E 1. So, E 1 can be done later, it can be separated out and a very similar rule is the following. E 1, this is some theta on E 2, some theta 2. This is equivalent to doing the and then doing the join. Once more, here the condition is that theta 1 involves attributes from only E 1 and it does not involve attribute from E 2. So, in that case, what happens is that this E 1 and E 2 will going to contain attributes from all E 2, but since theta 1 contains attributes from only E 1, the selection is not going to do any selection on E 2. So, the selection can be done, the can be done a pre selection can be done on E 1 and then that can be joined using the condition. So, this is true only when theta 1 does not contain any attribute from E 2, because it can be as well applied on E 1 earlier because it is not going to affect whether E 1 is joined with something else. The next rule is uh, again uh, a little similar rule. This is and suppose there is a condition theta 3 on this. This can be done in the following manner. And I am inviting you to think for a while uh, why when is this going to happen as you can probably guess when theta 1 contains attributes from only E 1 and not from E 2 and when theta 2 contains attributes only from E 2 and not from E 1 because as we argued earlier since theta 1 does not concern itself about E 2. So, the theta 1 can be applied on E 1 first and similarly theta 2 can be applied on E 2 first and those can be then joined. Now, why are these rules important? Because you see that these are going to produce much faster joints, these are going to be smaller relations and in the expression trees that we saw, this was exactly what was being done. So, branch city was brought into E 1 because the branch city does not bother itself with anything else. So, this is uh, about these thetas, then some projection rules can be written in the following manner. In this case, what can be done is one can do the L 1 on E 1 and the join with L 2 on E 2. Note the similarity of this rule with the previous one instead of the selection there is a projection and again the rule is the same is that this can be done only when theta involves L 1 and L 2 both. So, there are, there are couple of things here is that theta must involve attributes from L 1 and L 2 both if the theta contains anything else for example, some other attributes then that is going to be lost into this. So, theta must contain attributes from only L 1 and L 2 this is only otherwise it cannot happen because otherwise those attributes will be lost and the theta will be incomplete it cannot be applied that is number 1. Number 2 is that L 1 attributes uh, L 1 concerns itself with only E 1 and not E 2 and similarly 
L2 concerns itself with only E2 and not E1. This is the same as the earlier, but this is one important condition in addition. Theta must not be anywhere outside L1 and L2. So, a similar equivalence rule can be written, a, a little bit more complicated equivalence rule can be written in the following manner. This is, uh, we are trying to do the left hand side of this expression is the same as the earlier one, but what it does is that it uh, brings into other uh, attributes. So, there is L 1, this is L 3, note that there is no L 3 on the left side, but I am going to explain what L 3 is and then this can be joined with F, uh, Once more, there is no L4 on the other side, but what is being done is the following is that now theta involves L3 and L4. It does not involve only L1 and L2, it rather involves L3 and L4. So, for this theta to apply, E1 must contain L3 and it, this expression must contain. So, this side must contain L3 and this side must contain. L4. So, it must be selected, it must be projected when this projection is being taken. So, that is what L3 must be present on this side and L4 must be present on this side, that is one thing. The other thing of course, since L1 is separated out from E1, it should be the case that L1 involves only E1 and not E2 and L2 involves only E2 and not E1, number the, that is true. Also, L3, now you see L3 is, pre, is used in only one side here. So, that means L3 is concerned only about E1, it is not concerned about E2. So, L3 cannot be part of the E2 and similarly by similar argument L4 is only on this side which is on E2. So, it is concerned only about E2 and not about E1. So, these are the conditions that are required for this to work. Little bit more complicated, but as you can see this is going to be a much faster join because these are lesser attributes etcetera so, than the original one. So, that is why these complicated rules are sometimes used. Then uh, let us go to some of the set operations. The first uh, thing that we are going to say is suppose E 1, there is some set operator E 2 is going to be equivalent to E 2 and E 1. When is this going to happen? Not for always. This is when this uh, operator is either union or intersection and of course, not set difference. This is probably easier to understand. The next one is a more interesting is the order. Does the order matter for this uh, operations? So, this is true when the order is union this is fine as then the order does not matter. This is also true when this is intersection, the order does not matter, but of course, this is not true when this is a set difference. The next is on selection using this set operators. So, if this case this is equivalent, the selection can be separated out. And this is true when the set operator is union or intersection or even set difference, it does not matter because the selection is going to be on each of them separately. However, an interesting thing happens when the following rule is tried to be applied. In this case, you are not doing the selection, it is just doing the E 2 itself by itself. This is going to work when the operation is intersection and set difference, but not union and this if you think for a little bit, you can understand why that is the case. And let us finish off with one last expression is on the projection and if the projection is applied on a set, then it can be separated out. only when this uh, project, only when this operator is union 
and not uh, say difference or intersection. And again, the reason is the projection works on the union and uh, the intersection because the projection may lose some of the values. We will next go over an example of how to use this uh, expression, equivalent expression rules to evaluate the same query using different evaluation plans. So this is the banking schema that we have been using so far, the branch, customer, account, loan, depositor and borrower. And suppose this is the query that we need to solve. So find names of all customers with an account in this city ABC and with balance greater than 10,000. Now if you want to write it, the equivalent relational algebra expression, it can be written in the following manner. I am just trying to solve this in this uh, So this is one way of solving the query, which is first account and depositor are natural join and then that is taken a natural join with branch and finally the two conditions that the account must be in the city ABC and the balance greater than 1000, these two conditions are applied. Now if we utilize it, if the relational algebra expression is this way, the corresponding tree can be drawn in the manner that I will show next. So the first thing that needs to be done is the account and depositor are joined, the natural join is done. That is then natural join with branch and then the selection conditions of these two things, the branch CT is equal to ABC and balance is greater than 10,000, this is applied and finally the projection on the C name is taken. This is the equivalent expression tree for the uh, relational algebra equation. Now as we have argued earlier, this can be made much uh, faster and for that we can use this equivalence rules that we saw earlier and after application of different equivalence rules, what will happen is that the new tree can be written in the following manner. There is a branch on which the selection on the branch city is being done. Once more this can be done because the branch city is uh, depends only on the branch. So the branch city is ABC. Then there is an account on which the balance, the selection on the balance is done. Again this can be done because the balance comes only from the account table. This can be then joined, the natural join of balance, branch and account can be taken and that can then be taken the natural join with depositor and finally the projection and C name is taken. Now what is the equivalent relational algebra expression for this? The equivalent relational algebra can be written in the following manner. This is joined with thousand of account which is then so this together is then joined with depositor. Now the question is if we look at this tree, this expression and this tree versus this expression and this tree, why can they be claimed to be equal? Because we can successively apply the different equivalence rules that we saw last time to get this tree. So one tree can be transformed to the other using this. So that is why they can be equal and uh, once more we can argue that the second tree is uh, more efficient than the first 